Hello, everybody. Well, today, I thought we'd talk about the Artemis M16A. Let me get it. There she is. She is a beaut. She's a good-looking gun. Solid construction, guys. Really liking it. 25 caliber. Wood stock. All metal construction. With a moderator. It comes on and off. It's, it's awesome, guys. Take a look. I've already added a few things like a pick rail to the bottom. I'm not afraid to screw holes in the stock. It needed one. It didn't have this. I added this. And this is only good enough for a flashlight. This will be better for a bipod. Look at that, everybody. I thought we'd do a little bit of shooting with it today. Um, there's a few videos out on it, but not a, not a lot. Well, let me say that the caulking lever is easy. When I say easy, I mean smooth. It is got a, you know, a little bit of a pull to it, you know, but this is also cool. This right here, this spins right here. This is spinning. So basically you just kind of hook your finger on it and pull and it just rotates on it. It's nice. I like it. Regulator gauge, fill gauge. Fill port. A vented shroud functioning with an air stripper. There's also baffles in here. Um, it's not one half and twenty. Uh, it's uh, something else. I don't know. Um, the magazine is all metal. All metal. It's the kind nobody likes, where you got to rotate the clear lens, hold it, flip it around, put one in backwards, then you can flip it back around and load them all in. Nobody likes that. I'm going to get a new one, whether it's a Maple Custom Products or a Carm, either or, I'm going to get them. One of them. Maybe both. Who knows? Um, not a fancy scope. It's a, what, 4 to 16 by 42. Adjustable objective, illuminated reticle, nothing fancy. It works. I only use it because my side shot, uh, my camera, does good with it. So that's why I, I use this scope. I have a couple of them, actually. Um, but I wanted to show it to you. I have a whole bunch more I've been wanting to show you. This is my newest, so sorry. I skipped those other ones and you got this one. <laughs> and to see first. Um, but I thought we'd go to my uh, back porch. Shoot at 50, 100, and then, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Come on. It's a little windy. I don't know if you can hear it on the mic. I'm trying a new mic out. I'm trying to be uh, so everybody can hear me and I don't have to be up and on the camera. So that's it. It weighs 10 and a half pounds as you see it. Well, as you've seen it with the bipod. Full magazine, full of air, scoped. Ten and a half pounds. What does it weigh with none of this on it? I don't know. I didn't weigh it. Um, I can say it's quiet also. It's not loud. This is working. Um, yeah. I, uh, I like it a lot. Um, I put the gauge cover on it. It didn't come with it. Um, I have a whole bunch of them, so I just threw it on it. Um, you can take the bottle off. Why it's full of air. Um... I plan on putting a carbon fiber one on it in the future. Maybe bigger. I think so. Wouldn't it look good? You know? I think so. I think it would look good. We're going to shoot probably FX uh, 25 grains. That's what's in this magazine right now. That's the most likely what we're going to shoot on the back porch there. But, yeah. You know. The trigger? Oh. I didn't. I haven't weighed it. But it, it's easy. I would say a pound, 
pound and a half at most. I don't think it's that even, but um, I will have to check. I've only had the gun a few days, so. Um, but I'm already liking it. It's, I can already tell you, it was shooting at 800. That's what it's supposed to shoot. It's supposed to shoot 850 feet a second with 25 grain, and it's what it did. And uh, I wanted more. So I uh, turned the regulator up. I don't know if you can see it right here, right there by the Picatinny mount edge. There's a hole. You can adjust the regulator up and down. Um, you can only do down after you degas it. You can go up under pressure. Um, and I have it set now at like... It's like 160 bar. It was 150 bar. I went up about 160, turned the hammer. Um, actually, the hammer was already adjusted all the way in, so there was no more to adjust. So I uh, took it. I took the hammer adjuster part out that screws in and out and threw a little washer in there, threw it back on there, gained a whole turn of a squish, Raised the FPS along with the regulator bump. It raised the um, FPS to 850. So that's okay. I can deal with that. Let's go shoot it though. Enough talking about it and all that. Let's go shoot it. That's what everybody's here for. Shooting it. All right, everybody. We're back here on the back porch. There she is. She got the side so shot on it. Mounted in the Caldwell precision turret shooting rest donated by Dave thank you Dave that's what we're going to be shooting starting off we may shoot some of those I don't know if you guys where you get your pellets but I highly suggest you get them from the pellet shop you always got a rubber band with your order one at least one ten of pellets and they're cheap and they're fast and they're properly shipped and packaged Excellent. We're going to be shooting at the usual shooting areas. 50 yards. Then out there to 75. And then 100. Let's get you on the side shot and get going. All right, everybody. You're on the side shot. You should be seeing something. Let's take a gander. Uh, okay, let's get it 50 here. So we can see where we're going here. Okay. All right, you guys should be seeing 50 pretty good. Okay, yeah, good enough. Okay. That's, uh, we got a magazine fully loaded. FX, 25 grain pellets 25 cal all right so let's just start it off let's just go for the bullseye just to see where it's hitting make sure she's still spot on maybe off a little bit see the wind flag there all right all right let's, let's go back there now well we'll just leave it there right well okay we all know everybody can do it once. Can you do it twice? Nope. That was a big fat no, but we'll see here. Oh, well that's all. We, yeah. You're just grouping a little bit, right? Right there, I'm gonna do a little bit of a adjustment, windage adjustment. Two clicks to the left. Let's do uh, some shooting now. We're no, we're grouping good. It's a good group, and that's at 50 yards. And there, there is some wind happening. But let's uh, shoot some shooting. How about that spinner? Yeah. I'm gonna reload this magazine, maybe a couple times for everybody. I wish I had more than one magazine, but that's all it came with. And a single shot tray it did. And a degassing tool, so 
We can't leave those out. Let's go here. Uh, how about the small one? Ooh, we missed it. I made a one-click adjustment on the scope. Oh, not that time we didn't. How about right here? Oh, we got smoke, like vaporized the pellet. <laughs> kind of what I imagine happening. We know, no, it's not being vaporized. But it is knocking the dust off that target. <laughs> loading into the magazine we're out it only holds nine pellets so which is okay I guess a lot of 25s only hold eight or they hold a whole bunch so nine that's a little bit different but yeah so we get we get nine let's go farther let's go over there okay that stuff right there is at 75 yards so I'm guessing we're going to have one mil of hold. I've seen the wind drifted over slightly. There we go. Just a little bit of compensation for it, and it's all good. I like that spinner target there. I flew through the hole between the pink and the white. <laughs> it's kind of cool. No way. All right. How about farther? How about there? That is about 90 yards. That one pink spinner, double spinner thingy there. Let's go uh, two and a quarter. Whoa, I seen the wind drag that over. Try that again. A little bit of wind compensation. Nope. It is breezy out there. There we go. It was a little high on that lower target and a little left, so... Go not quite two and a quarter and a little hold to the right and the wind I can feel the wind pushing me like this go back to the 50 yard thing see if see the wind flag there yeah. yep another gust it's like that's another advantage of having a little bit faster speed is that you can buck the wind. But without uh, getting out my wind gauge, I would say we are shooting, or the wind is uh, at a 10 to 15 mile an hour gusts. I'm loading another magazine, by the way, also. And there we go, speed loading magazines. There we go, 10. Let's, let's see where we're going. Let's go for this one right here. That one right there. There we see that one? All right, that one drifted it too. It's consistent on the drift. Yep. <laughs> so as long as the wind is blowing that speed constantly, you'll hit the same spot. Oh, came in a little bit. Let's, let's shorten its distance a little bit. Let's go here. 75 yards. Oh, went through the hole again. Just barely grazed the 
the pink one. Oh, it does put a smacking on it though. I like shooting steel a lot more than paper, even though I do shoot a lot of paper. Yes. All right, everybody, one more magazine. I'm gonna load it and then we're gonna call it good on this one. I'm gonna do another video in the future with chronograph and probably a dustbowl reader Probably a pull the trigger. This is kind of like a out of the box kind of thing. I did do a short uh, video on YouTube of just uh, unboxing it, and that was really short. So if you want to see what the box looks like, uh, go check out that short. Better in the way FX uh, sells their guns. Yeah, I got it just a teeny bit. It did not like that one. Did you see that one? I don't know if that was a messed up one, but I can see it corkscrewed. Nice. Still just grazing it. But I like it. How about here at 50? Ooh. 50? If you're a squirrel, you are in trouble. Big trouble. How about that one right there? Yeah. Big trouble. If you're a squirrel. At 50. Okay, here, this, this tree right here, this is 75 yards. There's a little bird spinner on it. Let's, let's see if we can hit that little, it has like a little spoon on the bottom. Yes. I would say from 50 to 75, it's a for sure goner. Stretching it out to a hundred, well, uh, it's still not proven yet. But I haven't tried a lot of pellets. Like it's literally the FX ones are the only ones I had in stock uh, when the gun showed up, and I ordered some JSBs and some FX more. So, and there's a lot more other brands. So, we will shoot them. Last pellet, everybody. Last one. That's the one that's got to go back. There it is, everybody. Till next time, shoot straight and have a good spring.